Hello everyone, welcome to our Saturday edition of This Day. It is February 25th. Now on our show today, we have two great guests. One is Ava Marie Rodriguez Morris, and she is from Saddleback Emeritus to tell us all about the Emeritus program, which most of you already know about, but she just wanted to remind us about all the fantastic classes that they have. And then we have Marcella Lawson and Miriam Kahn, who are here on behalf of the Laguna International Dancers. And they've got some events coming up, and they want to tell us all about it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our weather. Well, we're still looking at rain throughout the weekend. We might just see the sun um, tomorrow, Sunday, but today 50, 41, 54, 43, partly cloudy, rainy again on Monday, 56, 47. And if you're traveling, take a look at these numbers, but be sure to check caltrans.gov because there have been some snow in areas that we normally don't get that much snow, but it, uh, it has happened. Local Beach is 5445, San Diego 5445, Santa Barbara 5542, Palm Springs 5742, Tahoe 2917, Big Bear 3015, Mammoth 236, Las Vegas 5637. All right. Uh, let me just uh, tell you what the sunrise is, is 624 and sunset is 544. And this is a gorgeous photo out of South Lake Tahoe. Okay, when we come back, we will have the Emeritus Institute from Saddleback with Ava Marie. So stick around. Looking for a change of scenery? You don't have to play golf to enjoy all that 19 Restaurant and Lounge has to offer. From a delicious breakfast menu to our delectable lunch and dinner specials. At 19 Restaurant and Lounge, there is something for everyone. Relax with your friends and family and take in the beautiful view from our spacious patio. Or enjoy a cocktail and appetizer in our lounge. 19 Restaurant and Lounge is a great place to socialize, enjoy a meal, or simply take in the view. Join us seven days a week and experience Laguna Woods' exclusive dining experience. Welcome back. Well, we have Ava Marie Rodriguez Morris here on behalf of Emeritus Saddleback College. Well, welcome. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you for it's great to be back for sure. I know it's been a while. And <laughs> I know, um, you know, we've spoken to a few people that have taught at Emeritus mm -hmm. um, uh, area for, for quite some time. And I know that over the holiday, or not the holiday, but the COVID, you guys yes. were great about uh, teaching online, which was wonderful. Yes, it, it was quite an experience to be saying, to, to be told rather that you have two weeks to get on online. <laughs> and you're like, what does that mean? Right. But it really was a great experience. And I think for my classes, because I teach art history, mm -hmm. it actually helped yeah. because they, the students were able to have the image up close oh. and really explore the details of it, which okay. was so nice. Well, yeah, and then also they didn't have to leave and they could stay in the comfort of their own home. So I think it's really a whole new world yes, for those it is. who were online, yes. huh? After, and, and we didn't have to leave. We could stay yeah. at our home yeah. for us yeah. as instructors. It was, it was kind of nice. But now you're back in teaching in the classroom. Yes. Okay, and uh, you said you teach art history. I do. And how long have you been doing that? Well, I've been at Saddleback College since 2014, okay. and I started with the Emeritus in 2017. Oh, okay. And I have to tell you, I love teaching the Emeritus. I don't think I'll go back teaching on <laughs> campus. Um, but it's been a wonderful experience, yeah. and I don't really consider myself teaching more as sharing. Okay. Because our students have such wonderful, diverse experiences. Mm -hmm. They're very well traveled, mm -hmm. and it's wonderful when we can look at a work of art, and they'll be like, "Oh, I saw this," and you know, the experience of seeing art in person right. is so different mm -hmm. than seeing it in a picture or in a book or on a big screen. Right. Now, have you always um, loved this? Is this what you? Did in college and no, I actually fell into art history. Oh. I went back to school late, so I was a single mom with two kids going back to college mm -hmm. at UCI, and I was taking history classes. And they said, "Oh, 
you better find another class because if you don't take 12 units, you're going to lose all your financial aid. Oh, heavens. So I'm like, oh, my goodness. They said, oh, you can take any class at UCI. Well, right. I'm not going to take classes that are going to jeopardize my GPA, so I'm right. trying to find the easiest one. <laughs> it didn't work. But I found the only class that fit into my schedule okay. uh, being a mom, and that was on, on Greek sanctuaries. Oh, interesting. And I thought that it would be an easy class. My dad's a pastor. I've been in sanctuaries my whole life. Mm -hmm. Greek history, how hard can that be? I'm getting a history degree, right? Oh, exactly. You yeah, know. I think, I think you, you misinterpreted that I one. I sure did. <laughs> but it really just opened my eyes uh, to the visual and the history and this, that beautiful marriage of art history. Yeah. And then the rest... It's history, no, <laughs> pun intended. No pun intended. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit about emeritus and you know what are some of your common goals? Well, we have our four pillars, um, as you see behind you, to be academically rigorous, mentally stimulating, mm -hmm. socially engaging, and health improving. Right. And we use that as a foundation for all our emeritus classes. And that's what really elevates the emeritus program from the community center type program, mm -hmm. especially that academic rigorous. Yes. I know for my classes, I have students read peer review articles that you would find in a graduate program okay. and such. Okay, so, so you know, obviously, like you mentioned, the, the people that are going to the emeritus classes, they, they're wanting to learn. Yes. They want to know more, where, you know, sometimes maybe regular students are, you know, we know we're there because we have to get a, mm -hmm. a, an associate degree or go on to a four-year college or whatever. They may not have as much thirst. And that, I think that is the difference, is teaching students that have truly no motivation to come to class except they love to learn. Yeah. You know, these are lifelong learners. And, exactly. and it does make a huge difference. Probably all the way around, obviously, for you and for the student, because you love the fact that they love what they're doing. Exactly. So. And, and I love what I teach. Yeah. And Big difference. Exactly. <laughs> Big difference. Exactly. Big exactly. Now, yeah. you do art history, but there's lots of different classes that are taught here in Laguna Woods. There are. We, there, in Laguna Woods, you have a lot of different art classes, as you can see in Again, the slide behind you, uh, we have photography, yep. film as literature, um, health classes, as you can see, with the posture and flex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, and then more to come as we are still continuing to open up and offer more classes in person. Right, right. How old do you have to be to participate in the emeritus classes? Well, technically, you have to be over the age of 18 and in California. Oh, that, right. That's like the overall rule. Okay. So really, everyone is welcome oh, okay. to, to the emeritus classes, okay. which and is wonderful. They're free of charge? They are free of charge. Wow. And, and some, of the, some of our, well, I would say most of all, our, all of our instructors are highly qualified. And yeah. so you're getting a lot of bang for no money. <laughs> well, right, yes. right. So then um, just to be, just to kind of understand the way that it works. So many of, many of the teachers are teachers. They are certainly certified teachers, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Now, um, and then does fundraising help pay for emeritus? No, this is all through, through the state. Oh, gotcha. I mean, so that's why it's even, even more of a benefit and also okay. why anyone in the state of California technically can take an emeritus class. I see. For only in California. Yeah, only in California. I think they need though. emeritus in other states. Yes. You know? Maybe they do it some, <laughs> some places, well, something similar. Well, our program is one of the flagship programs you know, in the country. Okay. Uh, we service over 10,000 students overall. Okay. Uh, and so we offer a lot of different classes, you know, oh, yeah. so, which is fun. Oh, yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about some of the things that you do. Um, you have, you know, you teach art history, and so you have something called what is an eye workout? <laughs> I love it. An eye workout is a lot easier than a, a full physical physical workout, workout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but one just as beneficial. So, in my classes, um, we use or I teach a language, and it's the language of art, which is really about the formal elements. So, when I say formal elements, I mean like color, line, shape, light, balance, so that when the students look at a work of art, they're able to articulate what they see okay. using these formal elements. Okay. And so uh, there, that's just a small example of some of the works of art that we've had these eye workouts, mm -hmm. because it is all about your eye. Right. And 
it's a very, it can be a very engaging conversation. Mm -hmm. So we've had discussions on paintings for over an hour. Oh. And I finally have to say, we have to move on. Yeah. Love all your comments, <laughs> but see, that's great. Yeah. And because one thing I love about art history and, and then especially this exercise or this activity is that art is whatever it is to you. Mm -hmm. There's no right answer and there's no wrong answer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was taught that at UCI and I love that because as long as you can support what you see, it's what you see. Right. And so I'm not gonna say it's wrong because it's what you see. Right. An example was a painting that I've studied over 10 years. One painting I've studied over 10 years, I use it uh, in every one of my classes. Uh -huh. All my students know it's coming. And I actually learned something brand new oh. from one of the students last week. Okay. That's what I love about art. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great. Now you uh, do a series, like a distinguished guest lecture series. Yes. All right. So let's talk about how that works. It's a, it's a Zoom class. It, it is okay. a Zoom. And this is a, an emeritus tradition. Okay. It's uh, the Dorothy Marie Lowry Distinguished Guest Lecture Series. All right. That's a long title. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and so we have, this uh, actually will be my, this is my first year being the moderator of okay. the class and we have had speakers um, from New York. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have speakers from uh, Canada, um, see, South Carolina, okay. um, the Getty will be joining, oh, joining us as well. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, uh, just from all over the world, we're right. having on um, St. Patrick's Day, the department chair of Irish oh. studies from oh, Boston oh, College. Oh, isn't that interesting. So, so looking forward yeah. to him and he's doing the, um, the harp as an iconic symbol. Hmm. So that'll be lots of fun. Now, and, do you need to be a student to be able to access the Zoom? You do. Okay. So on the previous slide, it did have right. the uh, registration number, the yes. ticket number okay. that you can join. And there's okay. the uh, website as well for Perfect. people who may be okay. interested. Great. And we have a new subject. Every week is different. Okay. All right, great. Now let's talk about one last thing here. Sure. The adoration of the mystic lamb. Now, why is this important to you? Well, this is just another example of what I do in, our cl in my classes and also an example of how being online has been so beneficial mm -hmm. for the student, mm -hmm. but also the use of technology. Mm -hmm. So this has been the Ghent altarpiece. It's considered one of the most stolen works of art. Oh. And it was by the Van Eyck brothers, completed in, completed in 1432. Mm -hmm. Through a grant uh, with the Getty Conservation Institute, they actually began to restore this. And by restoring this, they actually, then they were able to digitize it. Mm -hmm. And so if you go, so this is typically what we see in class. Right. So right. here we have Jesus and he's wearing a papal throne, uh, crown. Yep. Very rare to see him in that way and such. That's but, true. But the use of technology allows us to get this close. And if you can go to the next one, you'll see how okay. wonderful this looks. So that's where we're gonna, that's yes. where we're gonna go now. Oh, okay, I see. Oh, look at that. And look at that. Oh, that's interesting how oh. they've done that for you now. Well, it sends chills because you can see the mastery of the Van Eyck brothers. Right. Jan Van Eyck mainly, because if you look at the shadowing within yeah. that, that jewel. Right. And the attention to the, with the light on the pearls. Yeah. And so to see something up that close, it, it's just mind blowing. It and it's just, it. it's wonderful to see that detail because it just correlates. And in some of them, you have to see reflections of yeah. the background of the artist. Yeah. That's amazing. That is just amazing. Well, you have a, an incredible enthusiasm for what you do. <laughs> I and do. I think that <laughs> taking your class would be very fun. So uh, I appreciate it. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. And if you want more information about any of the emeritus classes, you can always go to the website or you can send them an email at secemeritus at saddleback.edu or call 949-582-4835. We'll be right back. At Genesis Medical Center, our goal is to treat chronic conditions with a traditional and holistic approach to get the best results. We created a program we call Diabetes Reversal, targeting people with prediabetes and chronic diabetes. The patient is closely and personally monitored. We check parameters, blood sugar monitoring, A1C, cholesterol, high blood pressure, and weight. 
We offer natural supplements and we will hopefully decrease the amount of medications you're currently taking. We teach lifestyle modifications, increase confidence and control the disease. Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Miriam Kahn and Marcella Lawson, who are here on behalf of the Laguna International Dancers. Well, welcome both of you. Nice to meet you and nice to see you again. Thanks to, for having us. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, uh, the last time we had met you, we were talking about some of the things that you were doing here in the, in the um, village. Yeah. But there is a club that is international dancing. So yes. tell me a little bit about the club. Yeah, so the International Laguna International Dancers is a recreational international folk dance group. Okay. Um, and uh, Miriam is our president, actually. And she is the woman with uh, tremendous brains initiative and energy uh, to get it popping in the community. Oh, okay. Um, but we get together uh, twice a week and dance and have a wonderful time. And I'm happy to tell you all about it and some of our special events. <laughs> Fantastic. So, so Miriam, how long have you been dancing? Ah, uh, many years. Not as long as Marcella. Uh -huh. Marcella grew up with folk dancing. Her parents at the time were involved in folk dancing and we have a few other members that are folk dancers from babyhood on that were in a crib brought out <laughs> to folk <laughs> dancing. Yeah. And eventually that music seeped into them and they were, you know, really apt to dance. Yeah. Very, very, yeah. For me, I was brought into folk dancing by a little woman, uh, Ruthie was her name. My mother was living in the, de in, in the community here. She was ill and she had a ticket to a theater mm -hmm. and uh, she said I cannot go do you want to go with the ticket came a ride to LA to the theater to Amazon theater mm. which I took advantage of and I was seated next to a little lady Ruthie and she kept on talking <laughs> yep 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 we arrived at the theater, and I helped her out of the bus. I gave her my arm. We went to the theater. She took some hearing aids. And after the theater, I picked her up again, and we were sitting down in the bus again mm -hmm. together. And all of a sudden, she says, that little woman, I folk dance. And yeah. I looked at her, and I said, what? <laughs> And she said, do you want to folk dance? Come with me, come pick me up on Tuesday. And uh, we went to Clubhouse One at the time on Tuesday morning. Mm -hmm. And she sat down on a little bench. She put some little red shoes on <laughs> and got up. And that woman that hardly could walk to the theater Danced. Isn't that great? beautiful? Yeah. I heard that music and that was sold me. Right. I was hooked by then. Right. That's it. Yeah. Well, you know, there, there's a lot of different type of um, dancing. Um, however, sometimes when you think, like folk dancing is a different kind of music, but then I think of Kel the Celtic dancing, right? Where there's, yeah. it's totally different too. So how do they all correlate together? Yeah. I mean, they're all, do, are they similar in nature? Well, no, and I think that's part of the fun um, that there's the variety. And I think that's one of the things that really attracts people. And, and I know I enjoy the music is different. The kind of dancing is different. The movements are different. There's a lot of variety. Primarily, the kind of dancing we're, we we do uh, is holding hands in a circle. Right, we were uh, just looking at a yeah, picture that had that. Yeah, okay. exactly, um, and um, and doing a sequence of steps. Okay. And I think one of the cool things about international folk dance, recreationally, which is what we do, which is just for fun, not for right. performance. Right. Um, is that you know some of the dances are you know lyrical and meditative and put you in a you know be peaceful, maybe zen-like kind mm -hmm. of space. Mm -hmm. And some of them are joyful mm -hmm. and energetic mm -hmm. and, um, and make you smile and laugh. Right, right. You know? Well, isn't, isn't in this uh, folk dancing, 
they're also, I mean, I recognize the circle when you get around and you come together and you do dances like that, but then isn't it also the same as when you have a pole and you have the sure, same that, kind of thing? That's right? another, okay. right, exactly. Okay. And th that's the whole thing about, you know, what is, what is folk dance, right? It's the dance that people, the folk, did and have done in every culture, let's say for at the end of a work day, you know, we're all going to get together and decompress, yeah. you know, yeah. and we'll do something fun together. And every okay. culture has its own style of how they do that, okay. right? Okay. Or at a wedding, well, yeah. you know, right? They'll get together and every culture has a different way they do that. Exactly. And some of them are in like what we call set dances in a formation, like we would call square dancing that a lot ah, of us are familiar with, okay. right? And they might okay. be a long ways set. Okay. You know, that's a, a kind. Okay. Right, and then there's a the circle. There's also partner dancing, which yeah. is more prevalent in Scandinavia, for example, mm -hmm. and in you know Romania or hung Hungary or uh, the Czech Republic. There's a lot of mixture. There's both okay. couple dancing and the circle, or what we call what we call line dancing, which yeah. is distinct <laughs> from you know like country yeah. line dancing. Right. right. Um, and I mean Israeli dancing is uh, there's all kinds. There's couple. There's there's partner. There's individual. Right. There's line. There's circle. You know. Right. So yeah. So so yeah. in the group, obviously international is the name. So right. you have lots of different countries represented. Yeah. Uh, in the folk dancing club. So yeah. Yeah. Um, how long has the club been around? I mean, so you met Ruthie when? Well, was to it? be fair, honest, I try to think about that, <laughs> and it goes way back. We started out in the what we call mini gym at the time, and we grew with the community. Okay. The community as they needed the. Uh, gym, the mini gym, they mm. threw us out of there and they <laughs> put us in another clubhouse, yeah. another clubhouse. Right. Eventually we found our home in Clubhouse 2, okay. at which point they decided to renovate that clubhouse. Oh. <laughs> at that point we had a whole year of moving from mm. one clubhouse to yeah, another. Sorry. And we kept together. That Good. dancing that Marcella was yeah. talking about yeah. kept us going. Good. It, it was really amazing. I was surprised how beautiful we stayed together. Good. Then during during our, no, COVID, our nomadic then, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, your nomadic. Yeah. yeah, and then COVID, of course, and you kind of took a break, and then you come back. So you are coming back. Well, with in between, we developed Zoom. Oh, I don't. We kept together on Zoom. Good. And at that point, we became a big group, and we are internationally, we, we're dancing with people from Australia, with people from Alaska, <laughs> with people from Colorado, and we came another community. Good. <laughs> at that point, we are really, you know, toying around who is going to do what where. Right, right. Well, that's yeah. awesome. So let's take a look at a couple flyers that you have for us. Of course, if anyone is interested in uh, folk dancing, they mm -hmm. could always get in touch with you guys right. and learn folk dancing. But you're Absolutely. having an event yeah. on March 3rd through the 5th. Tell me about the event. Yes. Yeah, so once a year we host a big festival. So, and this is, this is our 53rd year. Wow. Um, and it's in Clubhouse 2. And okay. the and people come, we have 150 people or so, um, and they come, um, and so we have usually two teachers. Mm -hmm. um, this year we have two pairs of teachers, <laughs> a couple that teach Romanian, yeah. and they are a delightful couple and, and uh, super energetic, welcoming, and they teach dances that are accessible for beginners and also very challenging for more experienced dancers. Okay. And then we and we we know them well. And then the other pair that's teaching are new to us. They're a Ukrainian. Mm. They're uh, two Ukrainian women that dance with a group in Los Angeles. Okay. And um, we're really excited to bring them and have that um, this Sweet. time. There'll also be opportunities for musicians to play with Bill Cope, who who okay. will do some jamming and informal, mostly Balkan music. Yeah. Um, and then also um, ukulele by Melanie Lawson, who happens to be my. Sister, <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, a lot of folk dancers have gotten into ukulele, and she'll be doing a, kind of in a side room some ukulele stuff. Um, okay. And at our Sunday concert, 
Um, there'll be performances, and both the folks who've been doing the music jamming with Bill and the ukulele with Melanie will also be part of that concert. So even if people don't want to dance yeah. and they want to come see what it's sure. like, they can come to the Sunday concert. Perfect for that. Yeah, even that one great. more event. Don't forget the beach. Right, and the, the, yeah, the, yeah. the Monday <laughs> out, the Monday after we always offer dancing on the beach. Oh, um, yeah, down at yeah, Crystal yeah. Cove. Uh -huh. yeah. So, okay. yeah, <laughs> when the it. tide is low and the da sand is yeah, well packed. Yeah, the sand is great. Well, this yeah. looks awesome. Well, thank you both so much for being here. I appreciate it. And good luck in your event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you're invited to come and well, join thank us. thank you. The folk dancing yeah, sounds yeah. like a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. If you want more information about anything that the Laguna International Dancers are doing, you can always get in touch with Miriam. And that number is on your screen. We'll be right back. By staying home, the community of Orange County has made a difference. But doing so shouldn't mean putting your own health at risk. Hope wants you to know that safe, quality care is available. Don't ignore or delay the medical attention you need. From routine checkups to revolutionary treatments, Hogue is here for you, just as we have been for almost 70 years. Like no other time before, your healthcare choices matter. Get the care you need from the name you trust. Our Saturday movie for you today is Toni Morrison, The Pieces I Am. And you can see that today at 2 p.m. with subtitles, 6 p.m. without subtitles, brought to you by City of Hope. And then just a few announcements for you. The Boomers Club is having their event coming up March 1st. Now, of course, this is the killer dueling pianos that we can see in Vegas and a variety of other uh, places. They can play Sinatra. Elvis Presley, Bruno Mars, Lady Gaga. Now, if you want to participate, it is $25 for guests, $20 for active members, and you're going to want to go to boomersclub.org. Now, we also have a couple of other announcements that I wanted to share with you. Take a look here. We have the New York Club that is happening March 15th in Clubhouse 5. Their door is open at 6.30. Show starts at 7.00. And uh, you can call Surrey at 714-686-3932. And then we have the Paint and Pour. This is at Clubhouse One Art Room from 6 to 8 p.m. And uh, you can participate by getting in touch with Recreation at recreation at vmsinc.org. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our weather one last time. We are looking at cloudy and rainy skies for today and partly cloudy tomorrow and then rain is back on Monday. 5041, 5443 and then 5647. Take a look at these traveling numbers. Uh, the beaches are on the chilly side and then of course Big Bear, Mammoth and Tahoe will be getting snow this weekend. So you definitely want to check out caltrans.com to make sure that your travel runs smoothly. Have a great rest of your weekend. We will see you again on Monday morning right here on Village Television at 9 a.m. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Are you struggling to hear in your noisy dining room? Do you have to pause and think about what people are saying so you can figure out the words? Do you find yourself lost in conversations? Can you hear but you don't understand the words people are saying? You need to get on the ARC. No, not Noah's ARC. This is Stuart's ARC hearing aids with artificial intelligence. You will never know how much better you can hear until you listen to the clear sound and noise right in our office. Call us today. Don't miss the boat and tell them Stuart sent you.